I'll zoom in on that sizzle. I put it wow. on. Welcome everybody to another episode of the Hot Pop Boys. We got Nelly Nell Chan, we got David and Andrew from the Fung Brothers. Today we are eating pepper lunch. Grill your own teppanyaki. No, you know what I'm super excited about this spot? We have the Sino Soul series where we delve into provincial Chinese cuisines. Okay. This is the very first episode of the modern Asian series. For example, the very first spot that we're gonna be covering is pepper lunch. Pepper lunch is a chain from Tokyo and got popular all over Asia and now they're moving to America. Finally, we are getting the direct port from Tokyo. Fast steak, grill your own meats. In Japan, they love the sizzling hot plate steak. Yo. And I'm not saying it's traditional, Yo, they staying I, with it. Yo, there's something about grilling your own meats in front of you, just like Korean barbecue or your own personal teppanyaki grill right here. All right, so we are gonna be trying 12 different things here at Pepper Lynch. I'm ready to go to Tokyo. Hop, hop, hop boys, boys, let's, let's go. go. Try, try mix it. Who, know, who knows how to mix it? All right, you guys. You spread it first, oh, yeah. and then you put it over the top. I got the kimchi beef. This is one of the most popular ones. The key is like the electromagnetic oven. This guy invented uh, the electromagnetic oven to heat these pans up to keep your meal hot for 20 minutes. I watched some videos online about how to flip it. Now, this one, this is the Hamburg steak. So I'm gonna flip this. I like using chopsticks. I think it breaks up the rice easier. All right, you guys, let's all try the kimchi first. All right, this is the kimchi cheese. cheese. That's the thing about having your own grill is that you know the food is piping hot. I think the only worry that you got to think about is overcooking your meat, but this right here, it's good. So it's called pepper lunch because they have lunch prices all day and the main seasoning for the meat is pepper. The flavors here are not too crazy. Salt and pepper, butter, some margarine. They keep it simple, Yo, but fresh. It's kind of similar to like your kimchi fried rice in a sense, but a lot cheesier, yeah. Okay, so this is the jumbo pepper rice. Mm. This one is actually uh, a lot more peppery. Yo, lot this is good. This has a much stronger pepper flavor. Yeah. yeah, it does. So this sauce that you have here on the table is the honey soy sauce. Okay, so that's gonna be like a sweet soy sauce. And then this one is your garlic soy sauce. I like the strong pepper flavor. The way they made it right here for the jumbo beef, I give it a 4.5 out of 5. This is a curry Hamburg steak. Uh, Hamburg steak, if you guys know, is a very popular thing in Asia. Japanese love it. Actually, Koreans eat some version of it. Curry Hamburg. Do you guys agree with me that all three of these tasted wildly different? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of the first round, I still think the jumbo beef was the best one. Right, what's your, right, what's your I, I put it? this as number one. Just because this almost had too much cheese, I almost oh. got to go with one, two, three. My number one, I'm gonna go with the jumbo slice too. Okay. Just Second, I'm gonna have to go with the kimchi. The kimchi flavor is just really, really popping. One, two, three for me, easy. Boom. Bite you the guys. kimchi had more punch, and to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of hamburger steak. We gotta do this, handle the steak. The steaks came in hot. You can easily overcook your steak, but here's how you don't. Spread the butter on top. Nelson, uh, you I'm going, I'm going. Hurry, no. It's exciting, it's only a matter of time. You can't overcook. Okay, okay, okay. So now, after you spread the butter on top, okay. flip it. So flip okay. each steak, look at this. Yo, you guys, I've got the Wild Angus. Was that garlic chip? chip? Wow. Chipping. It's snowing. If you don't want it to cook anymore, then you put the steak onto the veggies. Yep. So you are creating a layer on top of your grill, Nelson, yes, right see, now. You see those two? Right, yep. right on top. Wow, on top oh, of the right on the carrots. You have the ribeye. Here, I'll give you the meatiest piece. Pause. Ribeye, no sauce. No sauce. Are they doing a good job? No. Get the ribeye, but don't cook it that much. Okay, this, though, look at that grill mark, bro. That's real. That's a real grill mark. New York strip. Yeah. Look at my piece right here. It's still got a little red in the middle. Strong steak, beefy flavor. A lot more chewy. More like the steak that you might cook at home. Or well, that is when you want to feel like a carnivore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, this is a big piece. You know, technically should be the chewiest. Wild Angus Chuck. Mm, I love the amount of David, the garlic flakes on there. It smells good. Okay, okay. Great flavor, but a little chewy. Yo, I'm gonna have to bust out the knife for this one. All right, guys, this was the steak round. We had ribeye, we had New York, we had chuck. I think the best slice of this chuck was better than the best slice of this New York strip. One, two, three. I'm gonna go with ribeye, New York, and the chuck. I'm gonna go with the New York number one. Wow! Because I thought it had the most pure steak flavor to me. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Okay. If you guys want the easy choice yeah. for yourself, 
go with the ribeye and just make sure you don't overcook it. If no, you're eating Korean barbecue no. and you do not have a good cooker on your team and you just have eaters, your team will fail. It's kind of like an individual hot pot where you gotta watch over your stuff. You are responsible. So anybody who says, oh, I don't like pepper lunch because I don't like cooking my own food. You are so lazy. Shame on you. Shame on you. Uh, we have a guest judge, Kirsten, here. You're gonna help us judge this round. Yes, judge it. Okay, okay. Okay, oh. okay that was the kale spinach pasta. Seafood cream pasta. Okay, oh man, they flying in. Let's get a little crazy at Pepper Lunch right now. Ooh, that sizzle. You see that sizzle? You see that sizzle? Zoom in on that sizzle, y'all. Zoom in on that sizzle. I put it on. Wow. Wow. people get on the flash. Wow. This oh. is how people get on the flash. Flip the camera over here. What are we doing, David? Yo, how do I cook this? Yo, we need no, spoons. They're struggling. Hold on, we they're don't struggling. have the tools. They're Nobody struggling. gave us the tools. Uh, David. Go, go, go. David, I believe in you. Oh, 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 oh hold on. Play with David. Hey, we winning, we winning. Do the walk work. Do the walk work. But right now, pepper lunches. What? You're stupid. I've actually never seen them like make their videos. Boom. So this is pretty cool that I'm here. Boom. The action. I don't know how I feel right now. Kirsten was walking on the street. Kirsten, you passed by us while filming, and I was like, yo, Kirsten always wanted to get you in video. Yeah. Get in the video. Call me Kirsten again, but that's okay. He hates me. I'm gonna call him um, Andrea. Damn. <laughs> Kirsten. Yes, Andrea. <coughs> Shots. Okay, so I do like how the mushroom is grilled on one side. I got a piece of salmon. There's scallops, salmon, and mushrooms in this. All right, guys. Seafood cream pasta. Oh. All up in this. Aye. This is amazing. America! She's an eater. <laughs> Eagles, Walmart. Woo! So what I liked about the noodles was that that part of them was browned and a little bit crispy on some of the sides. Uh -huh. I actually like the, the cream sauce a lot. Can't really tell. It felt like it was a very, it very light good. Alfredo white sauce. These Japanese pasta dishes are always kind of like, it's like Italian food for people who are not trying to get the authentic Italian food. Let me review this one for y'all. Okay, for this sure. seafood <laughs> ass, creamy ass pasta got salmon, scallops, mushroom, and shrimp inside. They got the cream sauce. Let me tell y'all, when you eat the pasta, flavor. it is all flavored throughout. It is so yummy. It's just the right amount of like creamy, buttery, cheesy smoothness in there. So that's how this one tastes. It tastes delicious. A 10 out of 10. Welcome to. Who he think he, he, he think he's Gordon Ramsay? He's coming around. He's coming around. Oh, wait, this is the right Gordon amount. Gordon Ramsay. It's like all this. Just look at the mint, the basil. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on, guys. This is the kale and mushroom cream pasta. We're gonna try uh, this right Kale spinach. Now. Okay. Pasta. <laughs> That's actually really good. Oh, there's not a lot of flavor, but the flavor that it did have, it almost tasted, it almost tasted like a pesto. I think it tastes more fresh than um, the other pasta than the seafood one. There's, it's more like simple flavor, like the kale and the spinach. So this is more milder pasta. Fast <laughs> Damn. Wow. Damn. You sound better. Damn. Damn. You sound better than you, bro. Yeah, you you really please. are an international citizen. Please, please. All right, this is the seafood. What is this? Seafood rice. Seafood rice. I taste that soy sauce. I taste that butter. Y'all put a lot of butter in here because I taste it. I'm from Georgia. I know what butter tastes like. Mm. I, I think that this is really one of the most fun lunch experiences that I've had in, in the, several months. I think as Technology moves forward and everybody is on their phones. Are you in my personal space right now? Let me tell you, your elbow's like right here on my eyeball, right there. <laughs> As people are on their phones more and more and having less human to human interactions, I think stuff like this is important because it causes a ping and an interaction with each other. Between the seafood cream pasta, the kale, the kale spinach pasta with no meat, and then the seafood rice. What are you going with for your top two? Seafood pasta, yeah. kale pasta, seafood rice. So you guys say hi to the family friends. Let's go. Kirsten, Kirsten is a celebrity. Don't forget about the yep. Anyways. <laughs> okay, we have our last round, um, which is we're eating our salmon filet, we have our beef right here, and then we have our actual steak salad. Hey. All right, in terms of what won out, I think you gotta go for your money with the jumbo pepper rice. My favorite overall, if I had to recommend you get one thing, jumbo pepper rice, because that is like the iconic dish 
that really makes pepper lunch pepper lunch. I'm gonna go with jumbo rice steak and then the kale. So when I was living in Japan, I actually came to Pepper Lunch to eat the hamburg steak. -y. Right in English, right there. Subtitles. Y'all got editing skills and stuff, and I know so y'all gonna insert it right here. Well, what's it like to see modern chains from your time? you were living in Japan and see it come to America. I think it's so cool um, and I'm seeing that with a lot of like Asian food. It's nice to see like Asian food and Asian cuisine becoming more like Just start with that. Yeah, so it's nice to see like Asian cuisine becoming uh, a part of more like mainstream everyday Byron food, you know? You know one thing I realize is that like for some of the more traditional food, it's almost unlikely that it's gonna be elevated to a point where the younger generation wants to be a part of it. I know some people are like, it make it traditional or nothing at all. And I'm like, nah, guys, it's all good. And like, you know, this is a modern chain from Japan and it's finally porting itself to the US with a few slight changes. Well, I think even spots like this are just expanding the definition of what is Asian food. You're seeing a steak, a ribeye steak. You're like, oh, that's not really Asian. Well, this is like an Asian way of cooking it from Asia. This was a dope first episode for the first episode of the Modern Asian series for Hot Pop Boys. Thank you, Kirsten, for joining us. Oh my God, thank you for having me. You guys are amazing. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Thank you to Kirsten for coming by. Nelson, we're here at Pepper Lunch. All right, everybody, in the comments below, let us know what other Modern Asian spots around the area we should check out and do a Hot Pop Boys video at. And also let us know what you think about the modern Asian spots versus the traditional spots, you know, because they are pretty different. And, and I don't know if you can go to all of them because not everybody has all the time in the world, so you definitely gotta pick and choose, but Asian food is, is huge now. I don't know, it's hard to say. But anyways, let us know in the comments below. Let us know what your thoughts are. Um, you can check out all our Instagrams down below. And until next time, we out. Peace. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for watching that video. Uh, basically, we are going to be releasing a lot more content that we always wanted to give you guys. We never really had a good way of doing it, and that's why we want to tell you guys that we are starting YouTube memberships. So basically, if you subscribe to the membership channel, you are going to get tons of exclusive content. You are going to get exclusive photos, exclusive videos. We're going to be doing NBA talks, comments on comments. You're going to be getting merch discounts. Basically, you can just click the join button right there. It is only $4.99. Per month and it's gonna go all on our community tab right here so it's exclusive content that you're only gonna see if you're a member but I think I think you might really like it yeah we're gonna be gonna delving really like deep it. into a lot of topics and we got some thoughts man yeah deep thoughts so it's starting on January 30th so go ahead please uh, sign up today and check it out all right everybody thanks for watching that video until next time we out peace, peace.